And then guys, Brad from Canon Services. So when you've been doing a lot of our videos about SNAPS exposures and uh, indeed when we've been out exposing or training her in the public, I've had a lot of questions and even some negative comments about the fact that we use one of these, which is called a flexi leash. Flexi leash is just uh, either a cord or uh, a webbing based leash that extends and retracts. Of course, you can't hit a button and pull the dog back into you you need to be mindful of where the dog is and as you move closer to the dog or the dog moves closer to you that slack can gather in it also has a thumb brake which stops any further leash from going out so i want to put together um, a little scenario for you guys today about where uh, some less than considerate handlers uh, some let's be charitable and call them undereducated or under aware handlers use flexi leashes and seem to cause a reasonable size impact at least potentially to the public we're talking about blind corners here so we've set a little scenario up for you guys to see for those of you who use flexi leashes how to use one responsibly when you're approaching a blind corner we're going to show you how not to do it and we're going to show you how to do it so hopefully this will be helpful for someone now of course we're talking specifically about flexi leashes here but the idea holds up for a normal leash when it comes to not taking the corner too closely, taking the corner nice and wide, shortening the leash, and checking who is uh, coming at a right angle to you before you actually step out. So anyway, we hope that it's helpful to some of you. I'm sure that the, uh, that the footage will show you exactly what we're talking about. And uh, there you go, Flexi Leash PSA. Watch how closely this owner and dog turn the corner, guys. The bottom corner of the building here, bam, that dog just jets out into any oncoming traffic, foot traffic or otherwise, and the owner is blissfully unaware. That's what it looks like when things are done really badly. Now let's see it done much better. We're looking to stay away from the corner of the building here, shorten the leash, lock it off, spot with your head first, and turn out safely with the dog. Hooray, it's done well. Watch how quick this dog runs out. Very easy to catch someone out. It could very easily trip an old person over or uh, run into someone coming around the corner and get any type of injury. Watch, this is more subtle. So you see there, turning wide, spotting with the head, walking off, the dog under control. Watch how quickly this thing gets away from him. Guys, the leash has been around the corner. Neither of them ever had any chance of seeing or being seen. Now slow this down. Watch this, block the dog, shorten the leash, lock it off, step out wide from the corner, spot with the head, turn around and walk off happily with the dog, and that is how it should be done. So there you go guys, hopefully after you've watched this, you're a little better educated, don't forget to like the video, share the video if you feel that it's, it could be useful to someone that you know. Thanks very much.